What's going on guys? My name is Jordan and you might be like What day is it? <laughs> today if you guys don't know today is December third. What happens on December third? Chapter five Season one or underground. The season just released today, and here are my opinions on it. No more OG map! Yay! <laughs> that was a reference to my first video. Anyways, um... I think Coley's not getting shot at. Nice. I'm gonna let hit him do his thing. It was, um... Number one... Just got sniped out. Uh... Number one, new map. So yeah, guys, the new map. It consists of ten locations. Those locations being Rebels Roost, Ritzy Rivera, Lavish Lair, Pleasant Piazza, Ruined Reels, Fencing Fields, Snooty Steps, mm, Hazy Hillside, Grand Glacier, Reckless Railways, Lavish Lair, and Classy Courts. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna get the notes put up on my phone. Okay, let's do this. So, new society, new sites. They just turned two new chapters, so what direction to turn to? There's the Chaparral biome in the west containing the Clatsy Ritzy Rivera Mariana. Looking for something more remote, venture to the northwest Boreal Forest where the banded Rebels Roost Mansion lies. Down south in the center of the island is the glass float grassland by which pristine views are seen by the train passengers traveling to the Grand Station at Reckless Railways. Yeah, there's a train in Fortnite now. That you can get loot from, which is also I think, is very cool. Then, we got a bunch of images. High Society defeat bosses for Society Medallions. Across town there are five bosses. Oscar, Misha, Monteg, Valeria, and also... Peter Griffin is in Fortnite now. Which I think is very, very awesome, because... He deserves me in the game. Peter Griffin's a very good character in the Fortnite universe and in the anime universe. So, anyways, um, my friends in Storm, which is kind of stupid of him. I don't know why he's in the Storm, but it's a one v one v two v two. Maybe we can get our second one of the season. Anyways, medallions. You get shields and you get marked on the map, though, which is kind of a bummer. But forget the path, the trail smashing. The Reds team you game for you, the train to predetermine to go off running with a grander trail, trail smash US SUV and explore the island your way. Speaking of cars, you have equipped outfits, back wings, and more. Now it gives your engines ready for some new cars. Give your gameplay cars a fresh new look with this cosmetic category. Cars are new section of players' lockers. Cars are available three types of lockers items. Car bodies, decals, and wheels. All players have the OEM wheels from Rock League on their locker right now. Uh, once you have a car assembled, what do you do with it? If you enter a sports car in the front of our hill, which is a push a plug and create a round. Don't try to turn into your equipped car. The sports car will keep the look of your equipped car in the same match, even if you exit it and someone else enters it. To start out, players can transfer only one sports car per match per gameplay session. For all the Rock League friends out there, the OEM wheels are not the only Rock League guide part for it. You can also have the Octane, Cyclone, Jaeger 619, or Lemonade and Huracan STO car bodies in Rock League. You also end them in Fortnite. Just make sure you're playing Fortnite with the same Edward Games account you used to play Rock League with. Go Ballistic Shield. Enough one shields, now just, now just shields. Pick up a Ballistic Shield and includes a pistol. To defend yourself with the shield while shooting your pistol at the same time. That's it's kinda like the Guardian Shield. Or that shield that Gibraltar has in Apex Legends. Anyways, I, I, for you guys play Apex still. Um I want Arsenal. 
The ballistic shield is one of the new weapons in Chapter 5. One new is su suite of SMGs, ARs, and more. Chapter 5 includes the Hammer Pump Shotgun, Frenzy Auto Shotgun, Nemesis AR, Striker AR, Thunderburst SMG, Hyper SMG, Reaper Step Rifle, and Ranger Pistol. While this party of Ritzy Rivera stay the blade, unfortunately the grapple blade is pretty simple. Am at a hard time for another player and then grapple to your target. Which I think is kinda cool. Oh no. It's a 1v2. Let me watch this fight real quick. I'm back. We lost that match, by the way. It's okay, it's took out one win. Anyways, uh, the cluster clinger. The, the explosive explodes explosives. There is a cluster clinger on a surface of fire, and after a short delay, watch it pop out of expo smaller explosives. Cut and run when someone throws a cluster. Modify your weapons. Customize your loadouts. Now has a whole new meaning. Located in vaults are mod benches. Which have mods available for many weapons in exchange for bars. Bars are back, by the way. The mods are reduced recoil, increased mag capacity, and more. Set up your bars wisely, though, as not every mod works as every weapon. Do you need mod bins to unmod mod weapon? In fact, most mod combat weapons are already modded. Consider if it's in common rarity, you'll already have one mod. If it's a rare rarity, you'll have two mods, epic rarity three mods, and legendary four. If you want different mods than the ones that came with the weapon, you can still replace them with mod benches in exchange for bars. Experiment with different combos to see what's best for you. Mod compatible weapons are for selling characters or vending machines, so keep your eyes peeled for loot. Floating on. The new iron yields a new, yields a new fruit. Upon consumption, a flow barrier will cover with your nearby teammate's shield. Flow barrier is also E before jump, as they also grant you and your teammates. Temporary low ground effect with fall damage immunity, which is very good if you're sky basing and you're about to die and you need to be buried, whatever it's called. I don't know, man. But Mech and Miracle and, Mech and, Miracle and a Shield Potion Surprise. Mech Catch and Shield Potions have changed. Both restore the same amount of stats as before, but, but the way they do is different. Now I'll start restoring immediately, and you can now move slowly while they restore. BC and Quack will no more with these two items, but take note, you won't be able to cancel once you start restoring with these items, so use them wisely. Revive, Reboot, Thrive. Reviving and rebooting guide renovation. When you're reviving your teammate, you actually move out of range. The revive timer will slowly go down instead of hard reset. Rebooting works the same way. The reboot timer will slowly go down if you move out of range, not hard reset. That's really good for the amount of times I accidentally canceled a reboot and <laughs> I just had to deal with it. Game set match quest. Besides going in for the dub, what goal do you want to go for your next match? Chapter 5, Season 1 gives you a choice with match quests. At the beginning of each match, we'll be presented with a choice of three match quests that will expire at the end of the match. Match quests replace daily quests to give you the ability to pursue what you want to accomplish while having less directions in the battle. Distractions, I mean. I'm very bad at grammar, so just like <laughs> deal with it, okay? Um, match quests are possibly each player, and squad mates cannot contribute to their progress. Match quests are tend to be completable by a single player. You have bonus goals that reset each day to reward your additional XP for completing match quests. Um. Builds to scale. It's a new way to scale enemy structures, walls, so build by players to have a plank for propelling yourself upwards. Upwards. You can be out for these planks in the environment, too. <laughs> Improved animations. Enjoy smoother gameplay thanks to more fluid and detailed animations. Players on all platforms are experience motion matching and procedural layering for the battle royale. These are a few features that result in improved animations for things like transitioning from walking to running, changing directions, and using a weapon. I don't really like the animation. I don't really like them, to be honest. It's kind of mid. But hey, we got new Christmas skins coming out soon. The Christmas app shop's already back. So. Additionally, Fortnite Battle Royale players on the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC will experience physics based animation. With this feature, gliders and action will have more detailed animations. Okay. Underground and society clad in the Big Bang Battle Pass. 
and the Big Bang Battle Pass to unlock rewards in Fortnite by earning XP across Fortnite.rl. Creative Islands and the upcoming leg of Fortnite Rocket Racing and Fortnite Festival. Yeah, you heard that correct. There's gonna be three new modes. Rocket Racing, which is Rocket League Racing in Fortnite. Fortnite Festival, which replaced Party Royale. And um Lego, which is a whole new mode. Very, very cool. I really like the new Lego mode. It's also one of my favorite modes they've ever added into Fortnite. Then the Alpha Tier Underground Underdog with the Society's Cream de la Crooked. With the Big Bang Battle Pass purchase, you ought to unlock Trollmaker, Trollmaker Hope, which I already had because I already have the Battle Pass. Um, Hope of the Underground Progress in the Battle Pass to unlock more outfits. The Catwalk Ready Oscar, which I love that, is going to run through the Bengals uh, football team. The other Hope of the Underground Vengeance Jones into the Armored Dishonorable Nisha. The Steel Nerve Montague. And the freaking sweet Peter Griffin. This is honestly one of my favorite skins of all time. I'll show you guys this real quick. Then we're going to buy a battle pass. This is what the skin looks like. It's Peter Griffin. So that's one of my favorite parts of this battle pass is the Peter Griffin skin. We will be wearing. Most notorious have the notorious Valeria, which is 200. I'm really like 200. It's kind of mid. Um, there's a lot of outfits battle pass. We really, um unlock Snow Solid Snake of the Gaming Legends series. The Big Bang battle pass will be available to progress until March 8th, 2024. <laughs> Which is kind of cool because then I'll have a new Xbox and a new room by the end of that season. So by the time I do my next season, Chapter 5, Season 2 review, um, my whole room's going to look different. I have a new Xbox. My old one will no longer be here. Um, my one X I've been using ever since the Chapter 2, Season 6 review, which is kind of cool. Anyways, guys, let's go back to this. Um, compared notes. Chapter 5 Season 1 features dark tournaments that include but aren't limited to Trail Smashers, Sports Cars, Cluster Clingers. Yeah, guys, so that's the video. So, guys, hope you guys liked that video. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and don't forget to have fun this season. Yeah, guys, see you in the video. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye bye.